Hi, this is Tom Malloy. I've raised over $25 million for financing movies. I've produced at the time of this video 17 films, written 30 plus screenplays and options sold or made the movies 25 of those screenplays. And I've starred in a bunch of movies. So I'm an encyclopedia on filmmaking. Okay, today are five things to remember when meeting film investors. Here we go. Number one, don't waste their time. Right, And what I mean by this is that the project needs to be prepped and ready to go because if you don't have the prepped project, you are wasting their time. And if you waste the time of an investor, a potential investor, a high net worth individual, you'll never get in front of that meeting again. You do not want to be around people that waste your time and that's just you. Somebody that's just good, it bores you, waste your time, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, I have to hear this again. Imagine the way they feel. Number two, be fully prepped on your project itself. Know everything about that project and how do you get this way is you do this by pitching it around and trying test runs on other people that are not the, the investor or the high net worth individual. And you know, pitch them like you're pitching them for an investment and see what questions they ask. They may throw a curveball at you. Well, the, didn't they shoot this movie last year? Or you know, didn't this state just stop its film you know, tax rebate? Something like that that you may have never expected. And you go, oh my God, so be prepped practice. You know, I do a whole thing on how to prep a project. Uh, if you've heard uh, some of my webinars and I tell people that prepping leads to investors. And the reason being is the better prepped you are, the better you'll be in that meeting. Number three, be prepared for curveballs. I've been doing this so long that I will tell you almost every investor meeting has curveballs. Phone rings the, the, in the middle of your perfect pitch. And the person says, hey, oh, wait, I'm gonna take this. I'm sorry, I gotta take this real quick. And then goes into a phone call, all right? Or something happens that uh, a question is asked and you go, oh, I never knew about that. He says, you know, my daughter wants to be in the movie. And you go, oh, there's actually no roles for, for younger females in the movie. And then you, you, <laughs> you have these curveballs that come at you, right? Or you're pitching your horror movie and the person says, I'm super religious. I don't d do any horror movies, right? So there's always gonna be curveballs. So you should be prepared. Obviously, you cannot know every curveball that's gonna come at you, but uh, the more you practice and the more times you do it, the better prepared you'll be to handle handle these curveballs. Number four, it's super important, ask them about themselves. Do not just go in there and just go, here's my project and here's me and here's what I want to do and this is what me, 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 me. I equate that to being on a first date and I'm sitting across in the female and I just say, let me tell you about me and more about me and me and me and this is me and this is what I want to do and this is me. I would never get a second date. So the same thing applies for the investors. Go in there and hey, George, tell me about your business, right? Or Barbara, did, where did you get started? Where are you from originally? Ask them about them. People actually love talking about themselves. So it's great to do that. And here's the bonus there is that you'll get some information. You know, Barbara says, yeah, no, I just uh, invested in these tennis courts. And you think, man, my movie has uh, three scenes that take place in tennis courts. I can use her tennis courts to shoot this in. And then you throw that into the pitch. So ask them about themselves. And number five is to stop talking when you're done. This is something that when I'm training people on pitching, I've taught classes on pitching, they do not know when to stop pitching. They never shut up, right? Here's the key. You do the pitch when it's time and then you're done and you go to silence. The problem is most people are very uncomfortable with silence, especially when they're sitting in front of the person that can make their dreams come true, a potential high net worth individual, a potential investor for their movie, that as soon as they're silenced, they go, oh, well, uh, I, I forgot to tell you, we're shooting in New Mexico and there's a tax credit there. Oh, oh, oh and, and also I, I sent it out to this actor and the, oh yeah, yeah, you're losing the sale. Because what happens is, is that the silence is when the person is thinking about questions and mulling it over in their mind. If you keep filling the silence, you 100% will lose the sale because you're not giving them a chance to think. No matter how long, or no matter what you think of yourself, oh God, I forgot to tell them this. Do not fill the silence, resist the urge. Uh, wait for the, if it's a really important thing, wait for their first question. They say, um, you know, well, what, what date you thinking to shoot this? And you think to yourself, I never told them that I wanted to shoot in New Mexico. Uh, you, they say, what dates did you want to shoot this? And you go, uh, we're looking to shoot it in June. And oh, and by the way, I forgot to throw that that we're shooting in New Mexico, and that's when you throw it in. You do not fill the silence. So let it sit there and, and let it resonate, and that's how you're leading them to closing. Thank you for listening. If you want to learn more, check out the free PDF by clicking on the link below.